Hi, this is Azure Biosystems and today we're going to go over normalization and quantity calibration using Azure Spot Pro analysis software. In this video, we will be using a multiplex Western blot in order to cover normalization and quantity calibration. To learn more about the basic multiplex workflow of finding your lanes, subtracting background, defining your bands, and your molecular weight, visit azurebiosystems.com. To cover normalization and quantity calibration, we'll be using the same Western blot that we did in the previous basic multiplex workflow video. In our previous video, we adjusted the contrast of the image, we created our lanes, subtracted background from the channels containing our proteins of interest, defined our bands, and determined the molecular weight of our proteins. So to cover normalization, we'll first return to background subtraction. As we explained in our previous video, if you do subtract a rolling ball or a rubber band from your total protein channel, the majority of your total protein signal is removed and subtracted as background. Because rubber band fits a rubber band up to the edges of the profile of your lane, this effect is not quite as drastic as it is with rolling ball. However, it does subtract a lot of signal compared to not subtracting any background at all. And depending on the strength of your total protein stain, rubber band could still, in some cases, subtract quite a bit of your total protein signal. So if you normally use rolling ball or rubber band to subtract background from your western blots, you may want to consider subtracting no background from the channel containing your total protein stain. Otherwise, constant value and image rectangle are great options for subtracting background globally across your entire blot without removing the majority of your total protein signal. Image rectangle allows you to draw a rectangle on your image and will subtract the signal within that rectangle from your entire blot. Constant value takes the minimum value in each profile and subtracts that as background from each lane. Or you can select a value to subtract globally across the entire blot so that the same value is subtracted from all channels. Once you have subtracted your background and defined your bands, you can move on to normalization. Azure Spot Pro offers several different methods for normalization. With single band normalization, you can select a single reference band within your image, assign the reference value for that band, and then Azure Spot Pro will normalize all of the other bands in your image to the signal in that reference band. With housekeeping protein normalization, you would select the channel that contains your housekeeping protein as your reference channel. The software will determine the largest volume band in each lane in the reference channel and will assign that as the housekeeping band for that lane. The largest volume housekeeping band in the entire reference channel is then set as the reference band. The volumes of the housekeeping bands in all other lanes are compared to the volume of the reference band, and this determines the normalization factor for each lane. The volumes for all other bands in the lane are multiplied by the normalization factor for that lane in order to determine the normalized volume. For this image, we have a total protein stain, and so we will be using total lane volume for our normalization. To normalize using total protein signal, you select your reference channel, in this case channel 3. The software will determine the most abundant total protein lane and set that as the reference lane. The total protein signal in all other lanes is then compared to that reference lane in order to create a normalization factor for each lane. The volumes of the proteins of interest in all other channels are then multiplied by this normalization factor in order to determine the normalized volume. 
for more information or further explanation on the different types of normalization available within Azurespot Pro, you can click the Help button to be brought to the Normalization section of the Azurespot Pro User Manual. So while normalization is a technique used to correct for loading errors or to account for the differences in protein load, quantity calibration is a technique used to determine the amount of protein in each band using a calibrated curve. For this example, I do not have bands of known values in this block, so the values I will be entering and the bands I will be picking are for demonstration purposes only. In order to calibrate your blot, you do need to have bands of known quantity. To enter the values of your protein, you would select a band add it, and enter in the known value of that band. As you add in the values of your known bands, the software automatically generates a curve and calculates the calibrated volumes of each of your bands based on that curve. If necessary, you can adjust the line fit based on your SOPs. To learn more about AzureSpot Pro analysis software, visit azurebiosystems.com.